Well, folks, today's the 23rd of August, 2019. We did it. After a lot of time and a few hiccups, we actually built our off-grid tent. So let's go have a tour. We are in Southern Ontario, about an hour north of Toronto. And a lot of time up and down this path with my trusty Yamaha Grizzly. I gotta tell you, the best investment I ever made was buying a little four by six landscaping trailer because that thing has absolutely saved the day. And this path is now becoming well-worn due to many, many trips up to the shop to grab materials, lawnmowers, compressors, generators, tents, food, maybe a beer or two. Back here, after much challenge and waiting and saving and everything else we now have our little slice of heaven on our left you can see the canvas wall tent that is a big tent my friends it's 25 by 16 feet. That equates to, you guessed it, 400 square feet of livable space. It sits on a 36 by 16 foot deck. And this tent, I originally was going to build a 20 by 16 foot tent. But then all of a sudden, the manufacturer of choice, which in this case, happened to be the good folks at... Lux wall tents suddenly had a 25 foot version and me being me could not resist so there we have what equates to a house in my opinion roughing it a little bit of course but this is an off-grid spot not far from our home where we can come and camp get away from it all turn the phones off and hang out a bit. So what you're seeing there is a deck on top of a frame, all pressure treated lumber. Wanted it to have a little bit of longevity and I'll also take it apart potentially if necessary. The front part here we're going to, I've started, I need to finish. We've got a busy weekend so I can't do any more work, but that's pressure treated deck board and there is a 10 foot by 16 foot porch that goes on the front of this. So we're not quite done. But the tent itself, and we'll do an interior tour in a little while, sits all on three quarter inch plywood. So there's no air getting underneath it. It's going to be completely dry. The tent did, and thanks to Deluxe Wall Tent, come with a very good quality 20 by 40 foot tarp that'll be green, that'll help actually camouflage the tent a little bit. And will also uh, protect the tent from the environment. So I gotta get that on there pretty soon here. I should have put it on when it was lower, but uh, plans always change. So, so yeah, this thing just sits on, uh, made some footings with three quarter inch uh, recycled concrete, dug them down a couple of feet, filled them up, but just using concrete deck blocks. This is not a permanent setup. I'll likely move this at some point in the next few years, but they also sit on six by sixes. We did surround those six by sixes with two by eights for our frame, used uh, structural screws, and then uh, shirt them up with a bunch of, uh, you know, framing nails, of course. But that is one serious deck, 36 by 16 feet. So this tent has four windows, and we'll do another video that explains sort of the rationale behind this thing. I will be skirting the entirety of the exterior of the tent in, just gonna use deck board it's pressure treat and it's fairly cheap so it's going to be airtight all the way the, along the bottom of the sill this is called a sod cloth so all the way along there it's going to be tight right against the frame that'll prevent you know rodent rodent uh, traffic bugs that sort of thing and then she'll be fairly tight there will be some um, eye bolts going into the frame that are going to hold the you can see the grommets Oops, sorry about the focus. All the way along the top, about every two feet, there's a grommet. 
So we'll be pulling all those right down close to the frame and then I might guy the tarp out a little bit. I'm not sure yet. We don't have a big wind situation here because this hill is about 20 feet high. So most of the prevailing wind goes right up over the tent. So we don't have a huge problem there, but you can actually see the frame of the tent sticks out beyond the face of it. And then there's a bit of a hidden surprise inside. We're gonna make this a little more livable. So there we are. Thanks to deluxe wall tents and a couple of good friends, we now have our off-grid tent. And I, for one, could not be happier. If uh, there's any questions about how we did this thing, feel free to add it in the comments. But uh, I'll be placing uh, you know, more videos here and there about how we built it, why we built it. If you wanna know the cost of it, I'm happy to divulge. We are in Canada, so in Canadian dollars, of course. And then inside, we're gonna make it super livable. There'll be a wood stove, couch, kitchen, even a couple bedrooms. So there we are, super pleased it's done.